In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple outdooring or naming ceremony flyer like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. <laughs> Hi everybody innocent here and welcome to the channel over here we make videos like this if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing inside the description will be a link to download all the resources that i'll be using and if you want to download them you can download them and practice and in case you do and you want to share it with me you can hit up on instagram twitter or tiktok now let's get into the video once you open your photoshop app the first thing you do is you're going to create a new document to do this you can use ctrl plus n or you go to file and then new once this opens for you you're going to choose any size that you want in this case you are going to use a5 size but then if you don't see it in your recent you can go to print and then you go and choose your a5 size you click on that and then you make sure that your resolution is okay mine is set to 300 which is fine and then i can go ahead and click on create you're going to welcome with a page like this and we can start off right from here the first thing we do is we're going to bring in the image that we are going to use to do that you go to file and then place embedded and then you are going to locate the folder that you saved that picture or the image that you're using in this case i have it on my desktop the naming ceremony resources and then i'm going to choose that image so i got all of these images from pinterest huge shout outs to the artist and those that provided it so you're going to select that and then you click on place over here now one thing you can do is you can take your time and reposition it and drag it to make it as huge as you want depending on the size that you really want now once you brought this in you are going to pick a color from this image for the background so right underneath of it where you see his background you can click on that you go to the right bottom corner over here and then you are going to select the create new fill or adjustment layer you can click on that and then choose solid color so you're going to pick a color from here i've already picked that color but then you can as well test with any of these colors from here okay but then i wanted something that will be a bit brightening that's why i went for this one so in case you want to use the same thing you can copy this hex code and then it is going to be fine for you once you're done with that you can go ahead and click okay now you realize that the background are not really matching over here so what we can do is you can right click on the image rasterize it and then you can brighten it up a little using the level so ctrl l to open the levels and then you can brighten it up slightly like that once you're done with that you can then add a layer mask and get the edges around this off so you can apply a layer mask on the image layer choose your brush tool and make sure that your foreground color is set to black you can use the curly brackets to adjust your brush size or you can right click and then adjust your brush size so we are going to get almost all of these parts off like that so we brush till it's left with just around this area so we are going to brush all the edges off once you're done with this you can then choose the layer itself press ctrl u and then you can give it a bit of adjustment so you can increase the hue and saturation so we are increasing the saturation of the image slightly so that it differs from the background a little and then you can go ahead and click on ok the next thing you want to do is underneath of the image you are going to bring one more background in so you go to file place embedded and then you can place your background over here so you double click on this background it is some flowers that i also got from pinterest you can adjust it to the size that you want so you take your time and then you do the adjustment as you want it so i want it to fill the entire part like that and then i'll hit on enter or you take on down over here we don't want this part the bottom part over here so we are going to right click rasterize and then we are going to add a layer mask we are getting rid of the parts that we don't want this bottom part here so you choose your brush tool then you can do justice to that there is one more background that we need to bring in so we go to file again place embedded and then we are going to choose this background so this is a bit small so you take your time to open it as well you can press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered and then you make sure that it is aligned horizontally like that and then you can press ctrl d to deselect that and then you are going to rasterize this layer as well you add a layer mask to it because we don't want this top part here so we are going to brush that it is interfering with the picture the image over there so you are going to brush those areas off we don't need it okay so you can brush that part off as well 
and then you can have something like this now the colors are not really matching over here so what we can do is we can select the layer we press ctrl u and then we are going to adjust the hue over here to match the colors that we are using so you see that this color looks a bit different from what we are using over here so you can adjust your hue until you get the right one in my case somewhere between minus 12 and 15 works for me so you can also choose your number any figure that works for you but then the idea is it has to match with the colors that we are using once you get that correct you can click on ok now on top of these three we are going to add a bit of curves to it so that the background can separate from the image that we are using to do that you go to the right bottom over here click on the create new fill or adjustment and then you can add curves to this you can then drag your curves slightly down like that this looks perfectly fine and then you can get rid of this one so now if you turn it off this is what you have it looks very pale but then if you turn the curves on this is what you have and you're done with the background and the, your image the rest of the things are going to be the test we are going to use about three fonts for this and the first one is going to be a font called titling mt i'll leave links to download all these fonts in the description as well so to write something in photoshop you pick your test tool and then you can start typing so the font is titling empty and then i've already written my test so i'm just going to copy and paste that the color that i'm using for this is right over here when you go to the color code this is the color that we are using so you can apply that one as well you then paste your test you can take your time to adjust it so ctrl t to adjust it slightly like that and then you can press ctrl a to center it so i press ctrl a and i make sure that it is centered horizontally and then i can press on ctrl d we are going to make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j drag it slightly underneath the first test and then we are going to change that to wishes to invite you for that we can change it slightly as well you can press ctrl t and then we transform it slightly and of course ctrl t and center it and let's add the two to this one so which is to invite you to and then you can check right over here now we are going to make one more duplicate so ctrl plus j and then we can drag it down we are going to double click on this one and change it to naming and outdooring so naming and outdooring ceremony now you realize that all of these that we are putting over here are capitals okay the reason be that when you go to the toggle character over here the all caps is set on so once i check this one on you realize that it'll be back to small letters but then in this case this font as a whole doesn't have a, a lower case so we need to change this font to something different so the font that we are going to use for this one is going to be black sword so it says black sword regular over here and then you are going to choose that one you press ctrl t and then you can increase the font size and then you can press ctrl a and center it we are going to make one more duplicate right underneath of it and then we are going to change this one to ceremony so naming and outdooring ceremony this font isn't something that we want to use so you go back to titling empty and this time we are going to use the bold once you get that one you can then take your time and push it slightly over here press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered so it reads naming and outdooring ceremony then you can make one more duplicate drag it down and then you are going to edit that to off there any any information that the client will give to you okay so for this test we are going to drag it down slightly we are not going to make it that big it is not the center of attraction okay so we are going to change this one to a font called afterglow you center it so you can push this one also slightly up but in between these two you can put a separator over there to do that you make a duplicate of this bring it up here and then you can edit that and you can change that font to a font called vintage decorative so you change it right over here and the letter that we are going to use for that symbol is going to be k so you can try out different letters as well but k looks very nice for me you press ctrl t and then you can transform it to make it bigger and then you take your time to adjust it to the side that you want you press ctrl a and then you make sure that it is well adjusted and then you can push it slightly over here all right so the rest is going to be the date the venue and then the time so you can select from the family to the separator that we did you press ctrl g and then you can group that one and then we can bring the date the venue and the time over here as well to do that you are going to create a very simple rectangle so you choose your rectangle tool and then you are going to make a rectangle over here you press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered and then you can right click on this rectangle go to the blending options and we are going to add a gradient 
to it so you're going to choose your gradient overlay click on the gradient bar and then you can choose any gradient that you want i've already set the gradient for this one so you can choose this if you want to use this particular gradient and in case you want to use these are the hex codes so this is the first hex code you click ok and you can have the second hex code over here as well so over here we are going to uncheck the reverse so that this will come here instead and then once you have it like this but you can also keep it any way that you want to keep it once you have what you want you can go ahead and click on ok right on top of this you are going to make a duplicate okay and then you are going to press ctrl t and transform it to be in the middle so you hold if you are using any version from 2021 you hold shift and then alt before you drag it or you try to close it so that you are going to have it adjusted perfectly for you so once you get something like this you can then click on ok you are then going to right click and then go to clear layer style we don't want the layer style that we applied on this one so it gets back to the color that we gave it and then you can go and double click on the layer terminal over here and you can choose a color from here but this time around a darker version so we are going to go dark a little bit like this once you have this you can then go ahead and click on ok and then on top of this we are going to put the date the time and then the venue for the date time and venue you are going to use the font our favorite on the channel poppins so you choose your test tool and then you can left click on any area here and then i've already typed the test so i'm going to paste it right over here you left click and then you are going to paste your test right over here so it is going to be the day that i'm recording this video so you can bring this one down here so that it fits right over there you can then zoom out press ctrl t and transform your test and you take your time to position that i'm going to drag it to this side and make sure that it is in the middle as well and just so you know the color that i'm using for the font is just the cream right over here you can as well go for white any color that will bring out this color right over here so you can click on ok if you want to use this code or if you want to use the same color you're welcome you're now going to make a duplicate of this by pressing ctrl j and then we drag it right over here we are going to edit that and say time nine o'clock a.m for that we can keep it left aligned so we will select it all and then we are going to choose center align you can then go ahead and choose your move to press ctrl a and hit on align horizontal centers and it is going to position it right at the middle for you you can then go ahead and make one more duplicate and drag it to this side and that we're going to change it to the venue so once you, you are setting up your venue you can then paste this one right over here you can select it all and instead of the semi bold you can go for something a bit lighter like medium because normally your venue is going to be longer than the date and the time that is why the date and the time are using the semi bold and then your venue can use the medium you can as well adjust it if it feels too big for you once you have it to the size that you want can then zoom out and this is what you have the last thing we're going to add right underneath of this will be the rsvp so we can make a duplicate of the nine o'clock over here Control j to do that and then we can bring it down double click on it and then we are going to paste our rsvp which is going to be my number of course so we want to use the same color right over here so you press Control a you go to the color picker and then you can choose this color right over here or the one that we use for the ceremony will be fine as well any dark color that will make the test visible is fine you can then go ahead and click ok let's make this a bit bolder so we can choose bold over here and then we can increase our tracking so we open it up slightly like that and then you can go ahead and click ok i know you realize that you are almost done the rest of the things that you can do is minor adjustments like opening up the image to be a bit bigger and then opening up the flowers to cover the very edges of the canvas so something like this and then you can hit ok if you feel like the color is also very dull for you you can add a bit of saturation to it to do that on top of the curves you can choose your create new fill and adjustment and then you add hue and saturation and then you can increase your saturation slightly like that and just like that to create a very simple naming ceremony flyer or invite for yourself or for your client i'll be learning a thing or two from this video and if this video was helpful subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated don't forget that all the resources that i use including the fonts will be linked down in the description you can download that and practice thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye